perfect thing for a raver that can't get out anymore. You, you, you do get the occasional child that, that will say it's too loud, which I, I can't understand that because I just wanted to turn it up, and turn it up, and turn it up. So I mean, you know, you go back in the day and it was, it was all illegal when, when it first started. It was just they all went and did this thing that was naughty back in the day. I mean, look at this place. This is an authentic rave venue that's been going for years. It's really, really nice for the parents to, to show their kids what they used to do. I used to put on illegal events. Warehouses, court parties, everything like that. I went to court a couple of times. I got into trouble a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the police come down in the morning and they took the van, took the whole sound system and I ended up getting done for no entertainment license and got a £1,500 fine and I'm not allowed back in Cambridge. Well, in the rave scene, you, you just don't really care. You live for the moment. Back then, you just don't care. You don't care about police. You just, you're just in it for the night. You just felt like a rebel back then. You felt like you're top of the world, really. Well, uh... <laughs> It was my getaway, and that is why I went out. It was, yeah, I just done that too. It was, it was my escape from everything. It was the way I could deal with what was going on with my life at the time. Yeah, I don't want him to go down the same path because <laughs> I know what I've done. <laughs> I don't want him to do the things that I've done. If he was to do what I did, then I'd just be there for him. And I want him to tell me and speak to me and be honest with me and open and not hide things from me. You know? I never expected to be doing this with my kids. Oh, well, back then we weren't really expecting to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> True. I say Raven, you say Tots. Raver! Raver! I love Raver! You say Tots! Raver! Raver! Relax!